Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Microbiology with Sumi. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Today's topic is Microbial Culture Media Composition Part 1. In my upcoming videos, I will be posting two more videos about media composition. So, today let's start with the first part. Let's start with introduction. As we know, microorganisms have specific growth requirements. They require optimum conditions as well as desired nutrients for their growth and multiplication. And if we want to isolate the desired culture of microorganism, it is very important to provide them optimum conditions and nutrients. Whereas on the basis of requirements of their growth and nutrition, different culture medias are designed. Media composition. In this video, I will be giving you 10 different media compositions with role of ingredients used in these medias and some important points that to be noted before preparing this important medias. And the 10 nutrient media compositions are peptone broth, nutrient agar, milk agar, starch agar, mekonkis agar, tryptone broth, Sabrots agar, gelatin agar, Wilson and Blair medium and urea agar. So let's start with different media compositions. So let's start with composition of culture media and role of components used. So the first one is peptone broth and the composition is peptone 1 gram, distilled water 100 ml, NaCl 0.5 grams, pH to be maintained is 7 that is neutral pH and role of different ingredients peptone peptone is a source of carbon nitrogen and sole source of energy for microorganisms NaCl it maintains osmotic balance between cell and media and pH pH is the hydrogen ion concentration of media and the second one is nutrient agar this is the most commonly used media so in nutrient agar peptone is 1 gram meat extract 0.3 gram, NaCl 0.5 gram, distilled water 100 ml, pH 7 and agar agar 2.5 to 3 grams and the role of ingredients. Now meat extract, it supplies amino acids growth factors to the cell and agar agar is a solidifying agent used to solidify the. Now the third media is milk agar and the composition is peptone 1 gram, meat extract 0.3 gram, NaCl 0.5 gram, distilled water 90 ml, pH 7, agar agar 2.5 to 3 grams, skimmed milk 10 ml. Now here there is an important note that is the media components and skimmed milk should be sterilized separately and after sterilization the skimmed milk is added in nutrient media components in aseptic conditions. So here the skim milk is sterilized differently and all nutrient media are sterilized differently and after sterilization in aseptic condition both things are mixed together and then our milk agar get prepared. Now fourth is starch agar. In starch agar soluble starch is 0.5 gram, peptone 0.5 gram, meat extract 0.5 gram, distilled water 100 ml, pH 7 and agar agar is 3 gram. And the role, your role of starch is starch is a polysaccharide and this media is used for detection of enzyme amylase by using starch hydrolysis test. Now the fifth one is McConkey's agar. In McConkey's agar, peptone is 2 gram, sodium torocolate 5.5 gram, 10% lactose sugar that is 1 gram, distilled water 100 ml, agar agar 3 gram, pH 7.2 and indicator is used neutral red that is 0.3 ml. And the role in McConkey's agar Mekonkis agar is used to isolate gram-negative enteric bacteria. Peptone is a source of carbon, nitrogen and energy. Whereas sodium torocolate is a bile salt. 
it inhibits the growth of gram positive and some fastidious gram negative bacteria and here lactose act as a source of carbohydrate now the sixth one is tryptone broth tryptone is 1 gram nacl 0.5 gram distilled water 100 ml ph 7.5 here role is tryptone broth is used in a biochemical test called as indole production test the seventh media is sabrots agar here glucose used is 4 gram peptone 1 gram distilled water 100 ml agar agar 3 gram and ph is 5.4 and the role of ingredients sabrots agar is used for isolation and cultivation of fungal species and the next eighth media is gelatin agar the ingredients used are peptone 1 gram nacl 0.5 gram meat extract 0.3 gram gelatin 1 gram distilled water 100 ml agar agar 3 gram and ph is 7.2 here gelatin agar is used in gelatin hydrolysis test for production of gelatinase enzyme so here this gelatin agar medium is used to determine production of gelatinase enzyme the ninth medium is wilson and blair's medium now this medium is prepared in three parts so the first solution is solution a that is prepared 20 ml in solution a we use bismuth ammonium citrate 30 grams sodium sulfate 100 grams dihydrogen phosphate 100 grams glucose 20 grams distilled water 1000 ml this is for 1000 ml and solution b is we are going to use 45 ml out of that we need uh, for solution b we require ferric uh, citrate 2 grams brilliant green 0.25 grams distilled water 225 ml and the final solution that is the complete media is solution c here nutrient agar we prepare that is of 100 ml i have given you the composition before nutrient agar and in nutrient agar we add 20 ml of solution a and 4.5 ml of solution b and these three things are mixed together in aseptic conditions and hence our complete media of wilson and blair is prepared and now the role of ingredients wilson and blair medium is a highly selective medium for isolation of salmonella species in wilson and blair medium brilliant green and bismuth ammonium citrate do not allow the growth of coliforms and gram positive bacteria and other lactose fermenting bacteria further glucose is a sole source of carbon in this entire media whereas ferric citrate neutralizes the toxicity of bismuth ammonium citrate now the 10th media is urea agar and the composition is peptone 0.1 g nacl 0.5 g k2hpo4 0.2 g ph 6.8 phenol red that is indicator dye 0.6 ml distilled water 90 ml 10 plus 10% glucose that is 1 ml 20% urea solution and here 3 g agar agar is used and the, there is a important note and that note is urea and glucose solution should be sterilized separately and further they can be mixed in aseptic conditions and the role urea agar is used in a biochemical test called as urea hydrolysis test for detection of urease enzyme production whereas peptone is a source of carbon nitrogen and energy nacl maintains osmotic balance K2HPO4 acts as a buffer. <clears throat> 10% solution is a additional source of carbon, and 20% urea solution is a additional source of nitrogen. So this was all about the nutrient media compositions. Thank you for watching my video. If you like my video, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel.